praise the lord hallelujah dear friends this is pastor kumar i would like to tell you about uh, the good news uh, that we have uh, got a, as a revelation in this new year in the words of jesus um, <clears throat> especially the lord has spoken to me uh, through the scripture of uh, john 15th uh, chapter jesus said there abide in me so, uh, and jesus uh, is telling about uh, the fruitfulness uh, uh, of our life so if we abide in him we will be fruitful this is the truth um, uh, <clears throat> but you uh, but many people today they are trying to develop uh, by themselves by their mindset and um, <clears throat> they have their own strategies and uh, they have their own words and images and many people losing their integrity losing um, uh, the power of god the glory of god and trying by uh, uh, themselves to be fruitful in their lives this will never happen jesus never told like that but in the scripture he says abide in me and also he he speaks um, abide to abide in his words also in his love there are there are different kinds of um, uh, words that he has spoken to us so what happens what happens if we abide in him are uh, uh, there are many blessings that god has hidden in in he in his son jesus christ if we go and read the book of ephesians first chapter there are many blessings over there that hidden in the in the name of jesus christ there is um, I, I am reading uh, the third verse blessed be the god and the father of our lord jesus christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ he has blessed us um, with all spiritual blessings in jesus christ and uh, uh, the fourth chapter he had chosen us in jesus the fifth verse says that he predestinated us and um, adapted as a children by jesus christ to himself and the sixth verse he had accepted in the beloved he accepted us in jesus means he made us son, his sons um, uh, now we become his sons in jesus christ and in seventh verse the forgiveness of sins in whom we have redemption through the blood by the blood of the lamb by the blood of jesus christ we have the forgiveness for our sins and um, the ninth verse says um, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath for presidents in himself. And the tenth verse, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in, all, in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on the earth, even in him. Friends, observe this. He hath united the heaven and the earth in his son so if we really wanted to be blessed on the earth and uh, and we are looking unto heaven for every blessings god has already hidden uh, given every blessing all the blessings of heaven in Jesus Christ and now God has united the heaven and the earth together together now the heaven is on the earth right now heaven becomes heaven heaven and and earth becomes one in Christ Jesus so that we can have every blessing of the earth and every blessing of the heaven only in jesus christ that's why jesus told us to abide in him abide in him 
if we abide not, we will not be fruitful. We will not be fruitful. And um, and uh, Ephesians 1, uh, 11 says, In whom also we have obtained as an inheritance. We are now become the inheritance of God. We are the inheritance of God. We are the sons of God. And his sons on this earth are the inheritance. We are the property of God. We are the provision of God. Now he has responsibility to take every, every protection, to give every protection unto his provision, his inheritance on the earth. Right now we are on the earth, but God protects us because we are his inheritance. And um, if we read the 11th verse, 12th verse, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ. God trusted us in Christ Jesus. He trusted us. He loved us first. And the 13th verse, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, whom also after that ye believed, he was sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. See, this verse is very, very wonderful verse. When we believe and when we trust, when we get started to trust him, believe Jesus as our personal savior, we are saved in him. But God has sealed us in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the promise of God, promise of Jesus. And uh, He, God has sealed us right now in Christ Jesus through the Holy Spirit. You know, see, God also sealed Jesus Christ. You know that when we have the sealing of the Holy Spirit, Satan did try to destroy Jesus many times. But never Satan did get victory over Jesus' love. Because you know why? Because he was sealed. He was sealed by God. He was given to us as a, a bread of life. He has the purpose. So Holy Spirit will help us to protect, to control all our emotions, all our physical life, spiritual life, so that and all, from all the attacks of the evil, from all the dangers of the Satan attacks, or from the world, or from the sin, or from the scars, or from the, the death, or from our enemies. God has sealed us and protecting us, keeping us safe. He, he predestinated us. He has chosen us. He elected us. He appointed us. He anointed us. Only in Christ Jesus. Only in His Son. That's why Jesus told us to abide in Him and in His words and continue to be abiding in His love. Friends, if you apart or if you depart, from Jesus, you will never be succeed in your physical life or spiritual life. If you're far away from Jesus, this is the right time for you to get repent and yield unto Jesus because we have forgiveness in Jesus. Jesus can only give us forgiveness, peace, redemption. He was a ransom for our sins. And he, God has hidden the blessings of the earth and blessings of the heaven in Jesus. He gathered together all the blessings, all the benefits of the heaven and all the benefits of the earth. Blessings of the heaven, blessings of the earth, fruit of the heaven, fruit of the earth. Whatever it may be, material blessing, financial blessing, physical blessing, spiritual blessings. It doesn't matter. Every blessing is hidden in Christ Jesus. 
So come unto him. Abide in him. And be fruitful. Don't turn away after your own heart. Don't run. And don't trust in any man. Don't trust in any, in, in any, any, any other groups. Don't run away. Stay blessed. Abide in him. If you stay in Jesus, you, you shall be blessed. This is true. 100% is truth. If you continue to trust in people, in groups, or in men or women, it would be a curse for you. It would be a curse for you. If you, if you, if you continue to abide in Jesus, it would be a blessing for you. Right now, it is your choice, my friend. Think and give your heart. If you really wanted to abide in Jesus, I would like to bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless this brother and sister that who gave his heart willing to abide in you. Bless him abundantly. We give you our glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, please keep praying for us. This is Pastor Kumar from India. We are called for preaching the gospel, planting the churches, healing the sick. And our ministry is healing and prophetic. The five folds ministry of apostles. And uh, we would like to win many souls. Please keep prayers. We need your prayers, partnerships in prayers. And in, in projects. If you really would like to bless India with your vision or calling, we are here to help you for advancing the gospel of Jesus Christ in India. If you like to write us, please, we welcome you to come and join with us. We love you so much. God bless. You can write us at pastorkumar25 at gmail.com or you can send your uh, request or send your greetings in WhatsApp plus nine one nine four four one 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 four seven one seven we love you and be blessed we bless you in Jesus name God bless you bye bye